Hello and welcome to the ScholarPack Parent App video. This video will guide you through the installation, setup and usage of the new ScholarPack Parents app. Before we get started, you will need to download the application. If you're using an Android device, you will need to download it from the Google Play Store. Or if you're using an iPhone, you'll need to download it from the Apple App Store. Once you've downloaded the app, it will show on your home screen. Tap on the app to open it. Tap the Let's Get Started button at the bottom of the page to start the setup. Here you will be asked your link up code and phone number. Your link up code will be provided by the school in the form of a letter, and this code will last for 60 days. If this code expires, please let the school know so they can generate you a new one. Also, if your phone number is out of date, please let the school know. Enter these here and then tap continue. You will then receive a one-time passcode by text message. Enter your code and then tap submit code. You are now connected to your child's school. Then tap access your dashboard at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to your dashboard. There are three areas of the app, children, messages and settings. We can access these from the bottom of the page. We are currently on the children page. Tap on a child's name to take you to their profile. You can then see their photo, year group, class and which school they attend. You will also see their attendance percentage. To see more of their attendance information, click on the attendance button. You will then be able to see this month's attendance information. Green is present, orange is absent, yellow is late, and any greyed out dates are school holidays. Tap the forward and backwards arrow to skip between different months. To go back a page, tap the white arrow in the top left of the screen. Tap on contacts to see your contact information. If you do not wish other app users who are linked to your child to see your contact information, please let the school know. Then you will only be seen by name. You will also be able to see your child's permissions, including any photo permissions and whether they can go on trips, any dietary information for your child, and you'll be able to see any medical details logged for your child. If this information needs to be updated, please let the school know. If you receive a message, unlock your device and tap on the notification. This will then take you to the app. Tap on messages at the bottom of the screen. You will also see there's a red button on messages icon. This will show you if you have an unread message. Here we can see all of our conversation threads. Tap on your unread notification and you'll be able to read your message. If you tap on the child's name at the top of the screen, you'll be able to see who this message was sent to and which children it is for as well. Some messages may not give you the option to reply. If you do have the option to reply, type in your reply by tapping reply at the bottom of the screen and press the send button. The school may decide to turn replies off at a later date. The final option is settings. If you wish to disable notifications for different schools, you have the toggle switch here to do so. If you have children at multiple Scholopat schools, you have the option to add a new school to your dashboard. You can complete the setup process again and your children will all show on the same page. 